हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द मॉलिकुलर डायग्नोसिस विच इज वन ऑफ द चैप्टर इन द बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड एप्लीकेशन सो हियर फर्स्ट थिंग वी शुड नो दैट फॉर इफेक्टिव ट्रीटमेंट फॉर इफेक्टिव ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ एनी डिसीज two factors are required first early detection early detection means what when the disease is not gone to its ad its advantage advanced stage it is in what first stage only if we catch any disease in its first stage then the treatment is very very easy as the stages will increase the treatment will become highly challengeable for the doctor second thing is what understanding pathio physiology pathophysiology of disease okay patho word is related to what disease physiology means how the disease is affecting the physiology this two things are very very important for the effective treatment of any disease okay so now when we come to know see we we are going to pathology lab okay when the symptoms pathogen when the pathogen starts producing what symptoms at that time we are going to what doctor doctor is sending us to what patho pathologist okay so till this time number of pathogen increases in human body okay so any pathogen when start producing symptom that time we are visiting to the doctor and doctor is telling us some tests pathological test and then we are going to pathology okay and by that time in pathologist uh, means doctor will suggest us some urine and serum test hai na urine and serum so these are what conventional pathological test conventional method of diagnosis of diagnosis of disease clear so until that time number of pathogen will increase in the human body now here one challenge is there how to detect how to detect pathogen when they are in very less number okay how to detect the pathogen when they are in less number for that we have to do what amplification of dna of pathogen and amplification of dna of pathogen will be done by what polymerase chain reaction so under this molecular diagnosis there are the three techniques we have to study first is what polymerase chain reaction second is the r dna technology and the third one is what elisa so these are the three techniques are there pcr r dna technology and what elisa okay so we have to amplify the dna amplify means what multiply the dna of pathogen too many times okay and uh, by that only what we will we will do 
we can come to know we can detect the pathogen when they are in what very very less number in human body okay now first thing we will talk about what polymerase chain reaction so pcr it is routinely used to detect to detect first hiv in suspected aids patient second gene mutation in suspected cancer patient and pcr is powerful tool to diagnose many other genetic disorders okay it is a powerful tool to diagnose many other genetic disorder so these are the three advantages of polymerase chain reaction next we are going to talk about auto radiography in this auto radiography what we have to do first of all if suppose there is any bacteria or virus is there for example let this is some virus suppose in this virus okay its genetic material is there. or else one thing we can see see auto radiography main function of auto radiography what we have we should know that it is used to detect used to detect mutation in gene okay auto radiography is used to detect what mutation in gene so what is gene this is what suppose dna deoxyribonucleic acid and the small segment of the dna is called as what gene okay now auto radiography is used to detect mutation in gene now suppose there is any suspected cell is there this is one cell inside the cell this is what nucleus okay and inside the nucleus there is what dna is there dna in the form of chromosome now this dna one strand of dna we have to take it out suppose this is the one strand of dna now we have to this dna we have to mix what radioactive substance now what will happen as a result radioactive substance will be mixed with this dna this is. so this dna along with the radioactive substance will be called as probe okay the dna along with any radioactive substance associated with it will be called as what probe now this probe we have to hybridize with its complementary dna means we have to take one dna okay this is what suspected dna we are suspecting that in this dna somewhere mutation has taken place so this suspected dna we what we have to do we have to hybridize it we have to hybridize it with probe this is what probe as a result 
one hybridized DNA we will get in that one will be what suspected DNA and other DNA will be what probe. Okay, so this DNA will be called as what? Hybridized DNA. Okay, this DNA is called as what? Hybridized DNA. Now on this hybridized DNA, we have to bombard plane polarized light. Means this one and this one. So, okay, this hybridized DNA and behind the hybridized DNA, we will keep one photographic plate. Photographic plate is the that only X-ray plate. This is what? X-ray film. Or we can also call it as what? Photographic plate. Now, on this, we have to bombard what? Plain polarized light. As a result, the image of this DNA will be formed on this photographic plate. Now, what happened? This is the suspected DNA. Okay. The suspected DNA, whichever part of suspected DNA in which mutation takes place, that part image will not form on the photographic plate. Why? Because the probe is not having complementarity with. So, see, this part image is not forming on the photographic plate. That means this part of this. The meaning is what this part, this gene was what mutated. That's why its image is not forming on what photographic plate. Why? Because the probe is not having probe. This is the probe DNA. Na? Probe is not having complementarity with what mutated part. Na? Here, the probe is not having complementarity with mutated gene okay so in this way we can find out whether the mutation takes place in that suspected part of dna or not okay so this is all about what autoradiography now the last one is what elisa this I will tell in my next video. Thank you.